A request to all American citizens of Indian origin, do ask your congressman slash woman to vote for HR 1430. And I'm going to give you some more details about this HR 1430. This is the 1971 Bangladesh genocide. Now, I also want the congressman and woman to be aware of the antecedents and the people that alphabet soup organizations such as the ICNA associate themselves with. And in this particular monologue, I'm going to show you the connects. There are people who have been hanged for their crimes in Bangladesh. And these people were honored posthumously. When somebody honors someone posthumously, like in this case, here is Islamic Circle of North America honor honoring posthumously this person called Motikur Rahman Nizami. What does it say? That these people actually condone the crimes of this person. He was a minister in the Bangladesh, free Bangladesh government. And he was tried of war crimes. He was the head of Jamate Islami, which is a banned organization in Bangladesh. And here is a small list of his crimes. Causing the arrest, detention, torture and murder of three people, including head Maulana Qasimuddin of Pabna Zilla School in on June 4th, 1971. This is the period between March 25th, 1971, when Operation Searchlight started and December 16th, 1971. Now, also remember, Jamaat-e Islami actually supported Pakistan and they were wiping out people, their own people. It didn't matter whether it was uh, Muslims or Hindus, but the bulk of the people that this person helped kill were all Hindus. You can read this long list of accomplishments and then you can make up your mind on whether ICNA should be trusted with anything. Now, if you look at the resolution that uh, Ilan Omar is uh, sponsoring, look at who are the people who are behind her. How many times has she got funding from them? So you need to know from where your funds are coming. This is just an alert because once the proverbial excrement hits the rotating mechanism on the roof, you will all be exposed. Here is the execution of Moti Rahman Nizami for his war crimes. And this was he was hanged in 2016. And this was done by the uh, Sheikh Hasina Wajid government. I mean, there was a due process of law. Four or five jamaat e islami members were, I think, hanged and the, the organization got banned. Now you go and award this person posthumously and then now suddenly you want to say that India is guilty of discriminating against its minorities when these are your spokesperson. What kind of credibility do, do these uh, alphabet soup organizations have? Ask yourself this question. Now, this is the resolution 1430, and this has been discussed in detail in a previous hangout. Uh, I request all the viewers to watch that one, and I'll give you the link of that also. And, and this tells you all the different crimes connected, and, and it's just heartbreaking. Three million people killed. 10 million fled from Bangladesh, and they are still in India. I don't think they can ever go back. And... and Thousands and thousands were displaced within Bangladesh. Today, people don't have a clear idea of how many Hindus are left. And every Durga Puja or every Hindu festival, you will have some organizations taking it out on these people. So what is happening is it is just completely losing control of how the governments are treating their minorities, whether it is Pakistan or Bangladesh. It's just the degree of uh, control that changes, but the minorities are really suffering there. And what happens in the United States? The congressmen and women are being told that India is discriminating against its minorities. So this, this kind of a lie after lie after lie after lie has to be made. And here is the relationship. Okay. Look at ICNA. ICNA was a one, remember, who post posthumously awarded um, an appreciation award to this guy who is Nizami. Now, look at this. They are also connected with the other person, Ahmedullah Siddiqui, who was a Simi founder. When Simi got banned, this fellow fled to United States and he's holed up there. And he is also part of this network. I mean, it doesn't stop here, guys. This, this just keeps on going and going and going and going. And I'm surprised that they are able to still hold up and keep making noises. 
these are people who are harboring criminals congressmen and women should not even touch these people in if that in fact i would be uh, you know i would be so bold to go ahead and say that if you have taken donations from these organization please return them this is toxic thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications if you liked our research if you like our reporting consider donating to our channel also consider expressing your appreciation using the super thanks button namaskar